Hello and welcome to Analog Insights. In today's episode, Greg Jules and I test a very special film and developer combination by Adox, which according to its website is, quote, the sharpest, most fine-grained and highest resolving image recording system in the world, unquote. This of course sounds very promising and Greg Jules and I needed to give it a try. While Greg conducted his test in the early days of the very first coronavirus lockdown here in Germany, Jules and I only recently got a chance to go out and test it um, in the snow. Greg used his Pentax LX um, with high-end Pentax lenses, while Jules and I settled for the Nikon F6 and the Tamron 24 to 70 mm f2.8 SP lens. Um, in order to get the most out of these um, 35 mm negatives, um, we of course wanted to scan them properly and here Greg settled for a digital camera scan setup with his Pentax K1, while Jules went for his Heidelberg NextScan F4100. So let's dive in there and take a closer look at the test setup and our findings. So today we're testing the Adox CMS22 with the fitting Adox AutoTech 4 developer. And Adox claims on its website that, quote, no other film is sharper, no other film is more fine-grained, no other film resolves more lines per millimeter, and that is up to 800 lines per millimeter. It is also clearly recommended to use this film only with the fitting developer, so the Adox Autotech 4, in order to get the most out of it. And again, Adox claims that um, the film developer combination has been brought to perfection in years of research. So what exactly is so special about this film? Um, for one, it comes with a um, special monodisperse ultra high resolution um, emulsion. Adox CMS20 also um, has an orthopanchromatic sensitization which makes it which perfectly differentiates between the colors and associates with the color the fitting um, shade of gray. Um, furthermore, the anti-halation undercoat layer um, between the emulsion and the base material guarantees sharpness while of course preventing any halation effects. In contrast to other films, the base is almost completely transparent, which not only looks interesting if you develop the film, but also makes clear pretty um, fast that you can also potentially use it um, in a reverse process and then use the film for projection to similar to a slide film. So um, it is actually possible um, to, to use it as a um, high resolution slide film or for projection. And in order to do that, you can develop CMS um, 22 um, by um, basically doing the typical um, reversal process but using the Autotech um, 4 developer as the first developer in the process. And there are even some examples on their website for this particular version of using the film. We do the traditional black and white development um, here for our purposes. The only downside of the film, if you want so, um, is that it, it, its ISO ranges between 12 and um, 20. Um, so Adox recommends to shoot the film in at ISO 16 in normal contrast situations, which is also marked here on the box, and at ISO 20 in reduced contrast situations. As there is no DX code assigned to this particular film speed, it is important that you use a 35 millimeter camera where you can manually set the ISO or at least um, select ISO 25 and then use um, exposure compensation features to get to either the 20 or the 16 or whatever you want to shoot it at. So 
So how exactly did our test setup look like? To maximize sharpness and also get enough light onto the negative, we all decided to shoot the film from a tripod. Then Jules and I settled on the Nikon F6 with the Tamron 24 to 70mm f2.8 um, SP lens, so the version 2 here, because it comes with incredibly sharpness and we could also make use of the Nikon F6's smart um, bracketing function. So for each motif we decided to take three different shots, one um, with a minus one exposure, one at the correct exposure and one with a plus one, setting the camera to ISO 16, so kind of in the sweet spot between what is recommended um, for the film, something between ISO 12 up to um, ISO 20. So um, we then developed the film in the delusion of 1 to 14 um, for 11 minutes and most importantly um, had just 60 seconds of fixation. This is recommended to avoid blowing out the highlands, highlights and apparently really important as far as we read on um, the instructions in the instructions and at other reviews on the internet. Afterwards the negatives were then scanned with Jules Heidelberg um, Next scan F4100 um, professional scanner, which we recently featured in our scanning video as well. This allowed us to scan at 5000 dpi, um, resulting in a resolution of 6929 by um, 4606 pixels, so um, a 32 megapixel um, resolution. Um, for his test, Greg shot a Pentax LX with a set of really nice, sharp, high-resolution Pentax lenses. So a 100mm f4 macro lens, an 85mm um, f2 lens and the SMCA 50mm f1.2 lens. Um, he exposed the film at ISO 12 and basically followed the instructions on the box, so developing it for 10 and a half minutes. And the uh, negatives were then scanned with a 36 megapixels Pentax K1, also using the same 100 millimeter f4 macro lens in a dedicated Pentax um, a setup um, that is still compatible with the digital camera today um, and is originally meant for slide film, but also works great for, for scanning the negatives here. And again, he got really high resolution scans out of it. And here you can see some of our results. So what are our personal impressions of this film developer combination? Well, Greg, Jules and I were all really impressed by the results and one can say that it certainly lives up to its ambitious claim that we've mentioned in the introduction. So this is not marketing but actual high-tech um, performance of a film and developer combination that was really geared towards sharpness and high resolution. So if you are curious about getting the most out of your 35mm film camera and lens combination that you have, um, we can definitely recommend um, um, purchasing one or two rolls and the fitting um, bottle of developer and giving it a try. It's, it's also a lot of fun to use it and to, to just test it and, and see if you like sharpness or what you can get out of that camera and lens combination. In our test, the combination produced very sharp, high resolution um, results while retaining good detail um, contrast, which is also important. What also stands out is the remarkable exposure latitude that you get and um, the high resolution in the highlights. So they're not easily blown out, but you still get a lot of details and resolution there as well. The grain is incredibly fine and some of the images sometimes reminded me of how it looks like if you take a digital photo with a high resolution digital sensor like the one of the Leica M Monochrome for instance, instance that is also optimized for perfect sharp black and white photography and I saw some similarities here and because of the fine grain it really takes a closer look to see okay this is an, an analog image and it's also a 35 millimeter image which um, is really surprising in many ways. 
So, so much about the qualities of the film and developer combination. One final remark, as is common, this film also tends to have reciprocity effects um, after shutter speeds that are longer than half a second. And in Greg's experience, everything that was between that half a second and four seconds, it was um, simply by doubling the shutter speed that he measured to compensate for the reciprocity effect that worked out really nice for him. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Analog Insights and our review of the film developer combination of the Adox CMS22 and the Adox Autotech 4 developer. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it and maybe even share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Jules, Greg and I really appreciate each and every subscriber coming our way. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.